Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Thanks for joining me on Renegade Thrifter. Back at you from the flea market here um, in North Carolina. And it is on the side of the road. Same place I set up on Tuesday. Uh, if you're going to be watching this live, I uh, appreciate that. And those that have watched the recorded version, be sure uh, to let me know if you have any questions. If you are interested in selling at the flea market, have a question, or buying or reselling online. Um, uh, my wife and I uh, buy uh, thrift items, uh, also do some retail arbitrage and liquidation items. And we sell, we sell them mostly online, but we have our overstock that we'll sell at the flea market. So we set up. I have uh, a couple of neighbors here selling different things. Earlier, I had uh, this one gentleman selling uh, guns out here next to me. Um, over here, I have this gentleman who makes some really beautiful birdhouses. His first time setting up at the flea market. He's been making it for a couple years. Uh, really, really nice quality birdhouses. So if you're in North Carolina, you want to check it out, be sure to uh, come by the roadside flea market here in uh, Murphy, North Carolina, and see what you might be able to get. I also have behind me uh, this this gentleman here. Uh, we sell some uh, food items, and they're not expired. He's actually uh, a uh, a route he has a route delivering some of those items and uh he's saying that some of those tours um like walgreens and so on they have uh, so much surplus sometimes they'll just uh almost like throw out the stuff or they'll resell it for a really good price and uh so he's trying to and paying it forward uh selling it at a good price as well i picked up a few items from him this morning myself i'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out so uh, I'm going to be putting the phone down every once in a while when I have somebody at my table. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Be sure to leave me some uh, comments. Let me know you're here as well. Let me, let me know you're watching live. I appreciate all the supporters that helped me get over 100,000. I'm mean, 100, not 100,000, but 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. See, I have somebody here. I'm going to let me know they're online. How you doing today? Uh, one dollar per item or six for five here and also on the tarp. Uh, hey, how you doing, Kimberly? To borderline hoarderish is watching. Uh, thanks for joining me live again. Good morning. And uh, borderline hoarderish, go and check out her channel. Um, it, I was uh, watching her live video. Uh, I think it was either yesterday or the day before. Um, a lot of energy. Be sure to check that out. Yes, I am at the flea market again, Kimberly. I got here this morning uh, a little later than I wanted to. I forgot my tables at that house, so or at the uh, at the uh, the camper. Uh, so I had to go back and pick them up. I got here about 8:30. Uh, it's been cold, it's starting to warm up slowly, and uh, people foot traffic starting to uh, pick up a little bit. Figured I'd be here for a few more hours, so uh, I'd share some of this experience with some of my viewers. Good morning. Those are 50 cents a piece. Everything else is $1 per item or six for five. Got a little bit of wind, so some of my lighter items are starting to uh, fly around a little bit. And I do have some boards over here. Good morning. All right, so, uh, good morning. So, uh, those of you that don't know, I've been reselling online. <laughs> That's it. Hold up. I have a uh, borderline order. It says, I'm jealous. Too cold here. I can't wait. Can't wait till it warms up. So I can hit a few flea markets and garage sales. Yeah. Um, well, here in this area, uh, there's uh, flea markets and garage sales pretty much all year round. Um, it does get a little cold. Not too much snow, uh, which is nice. Uh, now, I just moved here, North Carolina, uh, from Georgia um, about a month ago or so now. And then uh, where we were in Georgia, there was uh, hardly any snow, maybe once a year, if that, uh, for a couple days. Here, you may get a little bit more. It's been a really good season as far as getting snow from what I hear, but tons of rain. It looks, seems like the rain follows us just about anywhere that we go. Everything is one dollar or six or five so I have T Monique Beauty uh, joining us and she says good morning good morning to you as well so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around for a minute a 
if you open the can, it's sealed inside. It's a, yeah. it's a sealed plastic bag. We use those on our dog. We have some uh, Maltipoos. Yeah, I have uh, chihuahuas. chihuahuas. Yeah, and I have a Chihuahua as well, but uh, it works well. Yeah. Where we were for the last uh, six, seven months, there was a lot of ticks, deer ticks and stuff, and they would fall right off of them. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, slowly making sales, but uh, making sales nevertheless. And um, if you see, this is some of the items that that uh, are we selling at the flea market here. I picked up these CDs at a liquidation pallet location. So I have uh, Team Munich Media says we don't have any here. So it looks like they don't have flea markets. Where are you from? Let me know where you guys are from if you're watching live. Uh, this is a really weird looking CD. Uh, Nookman Deer Hoof. Never heard of them. If you have, let me know. But uh, picked up a bunch of DVDs and the liquidation uh, pallet fill a bag. Uh, filled up the bag for a really good price and got a bunch of brand new DVDs. Hello, how are you? Yeah, it's not warming up any. Also picked up these right here, DVDs, uh, CDs, The Man Who Lives for Love. I think I picked up about 10 of these. I put some online and brought some here to the flea market. Have some off Staten Island, New York. Wow, that's New York, right? <laughs> now, I'm sure it's a lot colder over there. Here I would say it's probably in the uh, 30s right now, maybe 40s. Uh, feet and take collar. I have this card here. This is Emmett Smith. I actually have bought this for my son back in the 1990s. Um, found it somewhere, so I'm reselling it. Have a Paragon magnet. Weird looking snowflakes. Let's see. Yeah, Good morning. Good morning. Everything's one dollar or six for five dollars here and on the tarp as well. Good. This is the Wrigley Field. I need baseball fans right here. Little uh, magnet, little desktop weight thing. I'll show you some more items here in a minute. Let me see who's chatting. See, Kimberly says, nice. I haven't come across it many CDs that are still sealed. Yeah, actually, it's kind of hit and miss. Uh, I try not to pick up CDs that are open. Uh, unless I, I look them up and they're worth quite a bit more. Uh, so sealed ones, uh, I pick them up regardless. Good morning. Everything's $1 or 6 for 5 here and also on the tarp. Yeah, so that's basically my take on CDs. Uh, as far as reselling them online, um, that, for me, they're moving slow. So I usually take them to the flea market. Sell them there. I have better luck with them. All right. I'll set you guys down for a minute. Look, let you look at the birdhouse. I'm back. Let's see, do we have anybody new here? Let's see in the chat. Let's see Kimberly chatting. Let's see one more person. I see a few more people watching. Uh, so if you're here, uh, let me know you're here, where you're from. Let me know what you do as well, or what, what kind of videos you post on YouTube, and uh, if you're a reseller, uh, where you find your items, and uh, how you go about sourcing them and also selling them. 
what works best for you. So I'm going to go over some of the other items I have here. So this is a, a drain for a sink. Um, and these resell for <laughs> over $20 easily, but I'm selling it for a buck. I have these little, uh, these little cameras. Uh, I'm not sure what they're for, but they're brand new. Some buttons, brand new buttons. Anybody do craft? I have some special tools, um, a conical drill, some kind of drill. Um, and these resell for up to like $150 if you have the right one. Brand new playing cards. Anybody like cards? They're really nice flower designs. What else do I have? I have a jump rope. If you want to get back in shape. This is something a lot of people here need. I'm surprised they're not going like crazy. They're little foot warmers and I have hand warmers too. Mosquito season's almost here. Some mosquito guards. I have a brand new dog collar with a little choke thing on there looks like, but it's mostly a collar part. I have a few cell phone cases and adapters for uh, iPhones. So these come in pretty handy. I know I get a regular iPhone and uh, we, we sell a lot of uh, head, headphone uh, cord and, and wireless sets. These are really good for selling and online and offline. Uh, online on eBay and Mercari to sell really well, uh, but they're also good here at the flea market and we use them quite a bit. Any Magic the Gathering fans, I have this card here. It's a Frontier Mostasin feature elephant. Any collectors? Let me know. It's here. It looks like there's another card. I can't see what it is. So it looks like a two for one deal. A few sunglasses. So some of the items, I'll go over some of the, some more of the items that we have. But uh, anyway, something about about uh, reselling online. How many of you have been reselling online? Let me know. We've been doing it for about two years, uh, as far as uh, steadily. I've uh, been doing it full time for um, about nine months now. I'd be going in June. It'd be a full year that I've been uh, reselling online full time. Now, I've been doing it for over 15 years. Uh, I used to sell bowling balls because I was into that for over uh, 14 uh, years or so. And uh, then I got into uh, some of the other items I was finding at Goodwill. Uh, I was trying to flip them after I, I sold this one item that I bought for six dollars. Um, and we sold it for $120 within a matter of 10 minutes. You can uh, send some of my other videos. If you want to know what it is, just ask me in the comments. I can let you know as well. But uh, it was a really good flip, and I got my interest in trying to resell more online. And since then, we did a little bit of retail arbitrage, but that was kind of hit and miss trying to find items uh, to resell. It wasn't always steady. Uh, trying to, and it, it took up a lot of time. Eventually, we find some liquidation uh, pallets and uh, that changed the whole ball game for us. So yes, Kimberly, there is a trail behind reselling. Um, it's a natural high. Actually, one of the things that my wife and I does, and we should do more videos of it, is when we buy a liquidation pallet, um, on the way home, um, the shelf starts going through the bins, and I'm driving, but she starts going through and she looks at the items, uh, she looks them up online, and it's hard to believe um, how much you can get for basically pennies on a dollar when you buy at liquidation places but not only that even when you go to goodwill once you start learning what you're looking for um, and you run into the same thing hey don't sir it's uh one dollar per item or, or six for five so once you start uh going through uh thrift stores uh goodwill salvation army and then even garage sales and you start learning some of the items that that you pick up even some of the new items you've never seen you look them up and you, you learn so much from doing that and it is a trill uh like you said a little bit of a high to do that to to uh go through the stuff but um we first started reselling uh, uh toys uh for liquidation items and let's see i have kimberly saying i need to look into a liquidation type place the prices at goodwill are getting pretty high actually i'll go back over that as well it's one dollar per item or six for five uh yeah some of the um 
price was a good one getting pretty up but the liquidation item places uh, um, when we had the toys and we started going back home um, we had a blast going through all the stuff and especially finding out what it, what it was uh, even though the first pallet that we ever bought uh, we thought it was a bunch of junk when we first bought it and had no idea what it was oh, one second. Hold on. Yeah, definitely. Those are 50 cents a stuff laying around the house. Yep, that's true. <laughs> then I'd be out here with my tables. <laughs> to get, get that away from my two-year-old. She's like, oh, puppy. <laughs> like, yeah, that was breakable. Right, and I'm back all right so uh, yeah so it, it's really fun going through uh, liquidation places and finding them is also another uh, trill as well as far as goodwill uh, as Kimberly was saying the prices are getting pretty high and uh, we visit a lot of different goodwills especially traveling through the US um, and it seems like uh, even though it's it's a corporation uh, none of the places are the same so you may go to goodwill where they have really good prices and you get great deals and then you go to another one where the, everything is almost retail price uh, it's really kind of ridiculous uh, how they price things it's uh, it doesn't seem to be the same and some of you may not know but there's actually uh, a way to buy stuff at goodwill online that, that if you go in their online um uh, uh, i forget what it is but uh, my wife and i used to go through on their online site and they do have auctions as well and uh they also you can also buy stuff uh, do a buy now straight out uh, but even those prices uh, can get really, really high. I've seen some items there sell, sell for thousands of dollars, and uh, it, it's probably worth the price, but it's almost the full price. That's uh, when people start bidding on those items. But you can get some great deals if you know what you're looking for. Again, how you doing? Everything is one dollar per item or six for five. I'm doing well. Thank you. Yeah, that's my take on Goodwill. Uh, now, if you go to the Goodwill liquidation centers or, or the uh, outlets. Uh, you can get some great items at a good price because they do by pound. Good morning. Uh, $1 per item or six for five? Okay. Here and also on the tarp. Yes, they do seem confused on, confused on prices at Goodwill. Um, it's just not the same as it used to be. Uh, you know, you're talking about five, ten, ten years ago to where you went there, you knew you were going to get some really great deals. Now, some of the mom and pop's thrift stores, sometimes they can get better deals than Goodwill. Uh, Salvation Army, um, kind of the same thing as Goodwill. Some of them will sell you stuff at ridiculous prices, and others will give you a real good deal on them. It is. Yep. Yeah. I should see if you guys can look at this side of the free market.
another sale. It's amazing. Uh, so when you sell Eisen for a dollar, you're not going to make quick money, uh, but it is going to be one dollar at a time. And this is our overstock. If you see here, and this is not even like top of the barrel of our overstock. This is just the stuff we had with us in the RV. Um, Good morning, how are you? Everything's one dollar or six for five here and also on the tarp. So I have Kimberly. Hey, Kimberly, she says, uh, hard good prices aren't as bad. Um, you just have to know what, what to look for. Let's see, or make, uh, make sure you do when you research it before you buy a good well. Yeah, that's true. Um, now, depending on who you have for service, sometimes you go and try to research stuff and you have no service. Uh, so you have to go by gut feeling when you buy something especially if it's something that's priced a little bit more. Uh, and I've done that. I've, uh, one thing I've re resold is, uh, no, one second. Everything's $1 per item or six for five here and on the tarp. I do have some toys over there in the corner. You're welcome. Good morning. How are Everything's one dollar or six for five. Let me only get a house. Everything here is fifty cents a piece. There. I don't have any movies left, but it's the games and audio CDs. You can look at these rocks. You want to these on? Wait, I did that wrong. You want some sunglasses? Oh, look at that. Huh? Look at this. Look at these. Or you like the other ones better? I'm so glad I Those are for uh, baby wipes. Do you, buy, do, you buy the big baby wipes? do you like those or you like these better? Why is that one down? Glasses. I know, but we can't get a house. Why? I thought they might be just I want this. I want this one. You can do that as well. You want me to get both pairs of sunglasses? I'll get them both. Good morning. Good morning. $1 per item or six for five here and also on the park. Okay. Hey, hey, I have more people watching live. Thanks for watching. Uh, anybody that's there, uh, be sure to leave me some likes and comments. Let me know who you are, uh, let you're here live, where you're from, and what you do. If you're a, a YouTube creator, uh, I am a creator on YouTube. Uh, I've created uh, several channels, but my main channel that I, I do anything with right now is uh, Renegade Thrifter. As you see, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. <laughs> see, uh, Kimberly said the high, high lurkers. So, uh, once I gotta have somebody here grab a few things. Dollar stuff right. on the tarp. So it Everything's one dollar or six for five. Yeah, tarp in here as well. Mm. And I'll be here on Tuesdays and most Saturdays uh, with a lot more stuff because uh, most of my stuff is in storage right now. These are all uh, 50 cents a piece, anything. I got five things. I'll, I'll, I'll all right, I'll yeah, grab just one grab one more, more thing. Uh, all I have is these little bags right here. I don't know if you want one to put these in. Well, I, I can throw them in. Okay. Save, some, save some bags. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. How you doing today? All right. How you doing? Doing good. Trying to stay warm. 
How much is your, your card? Sale? Everything's one dollar. One dollar. Yeah. One dollar price. I actually bought this one back in the 90s uh, from my son who was younger. Did you? Yeah. I got, oh, I got some 20. I don't want to. I, I, I have change. change. I got change. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been here since oh, early right. 30 this morning. Uh, so over here. Here's 15. All right. Thank you very much. Sir, thank you. You're welcome. You have this little wrinkly field type uh, paperweight thing. Good morning. You need a bag. Try to get whatever I can in here. Okay. Um, she has a little she can have it. dog thing. Yeah, she okay. <laughs> thank you. That was a good deal. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll be here on Tuesdays and uh, most Saturdays. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. She's still looking. <laughs> Everything's one dollar per item. We're six for five here, and also on the tarp. Good morning. Everything's one dollar per item or six for five here and also on the tarp. I'll do uh, uh, 50 cents a piece. Got two things. All right. Oh, that's a nice one. And that one turned into a truck. No, it's You just get a little first so you won't mess up this. Here. How old are you? Two? Four. All right. Yesterday. My daughter is half the age you are. She's, she's going to be two uh, this week. Thank you very much. Thank you. I got six things, her two and my four. Right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Get your truck.
took a while, but I found number six. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, the filter thing.